Well, hello everyone, it's Joe and Mac to be here. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this video and thank you for tuning into my channel. For those that don't know me, let me introduce myself a little bit. My name is Joe and Mac to be, but you can just call me Jem and I am a session touring musician, music producer and a music director from Sydney, Australia, but I am now living here in Michigan of the United States of America, particularly Holland, Michigan. I also do things like gear reviews and gear demos and a whole bunch of all things relating to music. And in this particular video, I am talking about how I run rehearsals at my brand new church that I am attending at and also working at here in Central Wesleyan Church in Holland, Michigan. I want to show everything in this video that happens during our rehearsal from the sound check and all those little bitty things that need to be adjusted and even what goes on before the rehearsal, how I prepare for the rehearsal, how the team gets prepared for the rehearsal, the tasks that I get asked to do before the rehearsals and just the heart behind going into that weekend or that Sunday morning. So let's get into it, shall we? So the way that the preparation for this rehearsal goes and the way that things are structured here in Central is that songs are sent five weeks in advance. That's right, five weeks in advance. Uh, the amount of volunteers that we have and the team that we have, I think that's what allows us to have the flexibility and capability to be able to do that. Um, coming from a small church, it's, it's very new because usually the song just arrives from the week and rehearse. we rehearse on like a Saturday morning in ready for uh, the Sunday morning. So we have a whole week to listen to the song. Um, here at Central, our rehearsals are on Tuesday, Tuesday evenings. And after that rehearsal on Tuesday evening, you get a whole break until Sunday morning where we do another run through. So my preparation actually begins the week prior to uh, that Sunday. Obviously, there's there's five weeks in advance, but because of the frequency that I'm you know playing, I, I don't I don't have the capability to to think five weeks in advance. I have to think like on the week. So, so prior to the week begins, I meet up with a worship leader on the Thursday talk about this song list, talk about what they want in the tracks or if they want no tracks. At the moment, we're using the playback act from Multitracks, which is really, really amazing. I love working with it. All right, so starting off with my rehearsal prep, I start off by getting our click and tracks ready by using the Multitracks playback app. Now with Multitracks playback, I'm able to run click. I'm also able to run track. I'm also able to get the tracks directly from Multitracks and run it into this grid system that they have created and I'm able to manually adjust the different uh, instruments of the song and I can manipulate the different sections of the song any way I want to. And once I save it onto this laptop, it gets saved onto a Multitracks playback app cloud and then I find the file onto a laptop where our drums is sitting and therefore either who's on drums or the MD can trigger the tracks via the laptop or using the multi-tracks playback app. So here is the drum area and here we have the song set list and the structure of the service on sheet and here's that laptop uh, running multi-tracks playback. As you can see here are the songs, here's some of the songs where it's just click only and yeah, all these songs are official on the Multitracks Playback app. And it's really, really awesome. So that's set up, and then we get ready for the rehearsal. And yeah, we talk about the arrangements from there, and then we have a meeting on a Monday talking about the week to come. Uh, and then we, we we break it down to what is confirmed in the, me in, in the service, and... Um, once that is confirmed, we will get a, a run sheet that talks about the order of the service. And this, this service that I'm about to show you in particular is something that we're, we're trying out something new. We're changing the order of the announcements and the prayer time in between the song, which is new to uh, this church that I've been told. So that's really, really exciting. So yeah, we meet up on the Monday and we talk about the, the service, the plan for it. Uh, especially for the creative team, the worship team. And then we have our rehearsal on the Tuesday and then we run the rehearsal. Uh, and the way that we run the rehearsal is we will run the song through and through, fix up our parts. And once we're comfortable with that, we'll take a break, uh, do the song list and mimic the service in its entirety uh, from beginning to end. And then we'll talk about the structure of the service again on the Thursday after that. But pretty much when it comes to preparing for the rehearsal and structuring the rehearsal, that's that's where it goes. So. Uh, me as the music director, I'm the one that helps out bring the vision of the worship leader. And also what's amazing about this rehearsal is that 
Alec, our creative passer, creative director, the one who is also p- helping produce the service, he's got a talkback mic on the drums. So he's playing drums, also co-MDing alongside me. Um, and it's amazing because there's some blind spots that I'm still figuring out um, that I can't yet see because I'm still learning how the flow of this service of their church works. And having Alec behind me is such a huge, huge help. Um, so we're, we're doing um, like a dual communication thing, communicating with worship leaders, communicating with each other and the whole band. For moments to come and and yeah so you, you'll see all of that come through um, in this rehearsal video for the weekend that we just had all right everyone so i am joined here with our creative director here at central wesleyan church mr alec reese also our main drummer and one of the things that he is going to talk about is what goes on when it comes to constructing our our services uh as a creative director and producer and how that even plays a part with our rehearsals and eventually our sunday mornings so yeah. Well, yeah, what's your thought process when it comes to our Sundays and rehearsals? Yeah, we have a heck of a lot of value for Sunday mornings. Um, obviously, anytime we get to gather the people of God, that's a privilege for us. So we take that pretty seriously. So kind of what my role is, I get to communicate with a whole bunch of our different teams, from kids ministry to guest services to tech production to our senior pastors to our teaching team. And really what I get to do is define uh, what do we perceive as valuable, and then how can we take those values and add those elements to our service. Um, so every season, those values look a little bit different. Um, currently, we decided that for the beginning of the year, we really want to be um, deep diving into scripture. So we're currently in a book studies, uh, in a book study on Ephesians, a series called It's Complicated, where we assess us humans and the church as a whole. Who does God want the church to be? And how can we as messy humans construct a church to be as best as possible? So what we're trying to do now, I take those values and we say, hey, for our worship arts team, how can we think of songs that are um, a heart cry from us people to God? And, and how can we... Um, have the most strategic songs planned for those Sundays to really paint the picture of how much God loves the church and how the people can make those things up. So those are those are the kind of things I look for. Um, about 18 weeks out, we plan all of our series. Um, and 12 weeks out, our worship arts team tries to be pretty locked in as far as so this is the direction we want to go thematically with our songs. And then we plan out all of our Sundays five weeks out for sure. So like right now, I don't know what the date is, the 19th of February. So we're planning five weeks out, which is I think like the 31st of March is the date that we want to have done going into this week, just because we really think that God works through planning. Um, So those are the kind of things that I get to help with. Uh, We're currently in a season of Lent. We just hit that off this last weekend where we said um, during this Lent season, we want to uh, pray really intentional prayers um, as we're giving something up and as God is filling us in the process, how can we be intentional about those moments? So I try to grab as many of those moments as possible and incorporate them into our Sunday flow. Yep. And so when they talk about that heart in our meetings, then we take that thing that they structured for that Sunday and we rehearse that on the Tuesday. Yeah. So what you're about to see is what we have constructed for Sunday, 18th of February, where we tried something a little different, where we constructed a part where the announcements come after the first song, and then at our final song, Touch of Heaven, we break it into two parts, where the first part of it was uh, starting with the chorus and then ending it off about to go into the bridge, but when the bridge chords play, it's like a prayer time for one of our pastors to come up, and then we lead it into our second part of that song, which is the bridge onwards, and then coming up with that next part, which is the sermon. Yeah, I think there's a fine balance between being really planned out, but also in the moment, letting the Spirit lead. So something that we always try to plan for is um, reading the room. I think music leaders, I think when you're a music leader or you play at the pub down the road, you come with your set and you execute. Like you you know and you identify what you want the field to be. In church, we let the Spirit identify what the tone is. And it's our job to take that and try to take our church to the next level as far as leading goes. You know, we do really plan and we really do try to think of what's the best way for us to construct the service, but we do all, always leave space for um, how can we push for something that we can't account for until we're in that moment. So it's kind of like this fine line uh, that we try to uh, navigate really well. We've got excellent leaders on our team like Jemmy who can help um, navigate us through some of those shifts in the moment, all that kind of stuff. So we try to plan for both. Um, anyway, I thought it was worth adding. All right, and here we go. You are about to see our rehearsal planning for the February 18th Sunday service. All the mistakes added, all the communications, what goes on into the in-ears, and enjoy. All right, so song one, we've got We Praise You in the key of A. Everyone swell on the one.
right This is what freedom feels like This is what heaven sounds like We crash, we Man, that was... My ears are rough. Same. How y'all feel with that first song? I don't think we've ever done the post-choruses before. Is that the first time? No, no, we've, we, we, we've done the post-choruses. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I think we cut, like, the, the last two or whatever. But how, do you, how do you feel about them? If y'all like them, let's do it. I don't mind it. If you if you like it, um, I'm happy with that. It doesn't feel too long. The second one does feel a little long. Yeah, we can cut we can cut the second one. We can just do one chorus and then O's and then finish it. Yeah, with that, Kathleen. <laughs> She's like this. Yeah. So we sing, praise you. Oh. You're ever, forever lifted high. Uh, uh, okay. Got it. Let's edit that out. That's all right. I think it serves the church better anyway. Otherwise, it's saying they're like, like, they're not doing anything. Uh, Michael. Michael. May I please have uh, more gain on Electric 2, please? And more gain on the uh, upright shell as well. Is that what you're saying, Hannah? Oh, on the Nord, sorry. What do you think, Jim? What was the question, sir? Oh, after that, the yeah. ending. So what Alec and I talked about was we can play the first, we can play the chords of um, We Praise You, um, like the chorus, uh, nice and mellow. And then maybe when it goes into offering, we can switch the corner and go to um, Christ Be Magnified. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Can I hear the Nord, please? And that's not enough gain for you? I did do that, is it? Yep. Cool. Thanks, Michael. You want to practice that under the MC moment thing, Trim? Sure thing, absolutely. So uh, let's try the uh, those outro choruses and end on the we praise you, So was it, was it, are we still doing two cycles or just one cycle? 
Okay, two cycles. Okay, two cycles, and then yeah, now we praise you. Another one. Dun. Cool. So we'll do both courses now, right? Yep. No interlude. Is that my chorus? Chorus. Two, Two three, Here you go. Intro, this is offering here. I'm looping the intro.
I'll stand strong and worship you And if it puts me in the fire I'll rejoice with your too I won't be fooled by fools I won't fast to what is true And I'll be crucified QT. Three, four. We could end on the four if you wanted. Christ magnified. We could end on the four. You want to try ending on the four? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's try that. Let's go to the ending and then end on the four. There's the last chorus. Christ magnified start on the five. And then keep climbing. Last chorus? Yeah, last chorus, let's do it.
to six. some space to, to vibe there too yeah that could be a cool moment oh for touch for touch of heaven of that song um if we want to add some back into it and do the full song i'm down for that but i think that's like three minutes added to that yeah because you you said with touch of heaven you wanted to do the the choruses and is that is that how we're starting oh, it off right. yeah so the... all i want yeah, is that yeah, where you're going for yeah. is to live within you yeah okay that's what it was I yeah remember. Yeah, that's why I added the click in there. In the, in the planning center notes. You, you did put it in the planning center notes. What we can do too is, I mean, we can just vibe there at the end of that song if you want to go back into it or whatever. Yeah. yeah. The second service might be nice for it. Does that mean with Touch of Heaven now, um, uh, you wanted to do it, do it from the top, if that's the case? Because initially the plan was you wanted yeah, to try it. We yeah. We would tag it. I mean, really, we can do whatever. We, yeah. I, if we just go to the one, then you can come in wherever you want. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So should we we should hold the one then? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, we'll end on the one. Or I mean we end on the four and just count us okay. into the one. Yeah, we can end on the four. How's it going? Thank you. 
Let's touch a heaven click. Yep. So this is this is the click just in case if you wanted to go to um, all I want. Yeah. Yep. And then end of the four. End of the four. So here's touch of heaven. Where are we going from here, Jeremy? If we're holding the four here? I would, I would say the chorus. Okay, so... Uh, four... Then five... Minus six... One over three... Nice. I like that. You can take the leads here. Yeah, two, three, how I live. BVs. Dennis, I love the way that telly sounds. Swell on the chorus. Two, three, four. You're the fire, go. Sounds pretty bad in my ears now. The mic, please, but Michael, you hearing that? Sounds a lot more choked. Okay, and then that's when part two prayer comes up. Yep. And then after prayer, after prayer is when we do uh, open up my heart to you. Okay.
big swell here to give Craig a high. On the four? That's his swell, everyone. Yeah, I think we welcome up Craig. Yep, that's it. Let's welcome Pastor Craig up this morning. So that's it. After the bridge, strong chorus, and then uh, mellow chorus. Yep. Yeah. That's it. No O's. No O's there. It's pretty. Si it's a really simple set list. We only have four songs. Yeah, yeah but it's a it's a big. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's pretty big. <laughs> Y'all ready?
Voice Chords. Ready? One, two, three, eight. And now this. Crashing magnified. One, two, go. Intro. Two. two.
the floor. Keep holding the floor. Sing this one, you're ready, Jeremy. Here we go. Chorus. Two, three, four.
playing the same chords. Let's see. That makes, makes one the four? Uh, four. Toss the crate comes up here, right? Gotcha. <laughs> you broke my ankles. Just for um, our production team, let's do the um, the last time through that song again, too. The like at the end course? of service. Like when we come back at the end of service and retake the song. Yeah. Are we coming? Are we doing chorus and bridge for that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, like the first time. Uh oh. So we start off mellow, right? And open up my heart. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. All right, here we go. Chorus, chorus. Do we, how, how extensive do we want to be with this? I was going to say, you can do two bridges and two choruses. Maybe. I like, I like to still do three bridges. Oh, three bridges? Okay. I guess my question is, do we just do three bridges and then chorus, chorus, and then... I say honestly, we read the room. Like I would love for us to be versatile enough to yes. catch the dynamic. If it's a really responsive, we're only down dynamic bridges or choruses or whatever. As a bass structure, yeah. Yeah, um, I like that. Yeah, cool. bass structure. Or if you feel like staying on the bridge, feel free to stay on the bridge. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to assume that I'm going to be playing underneath um, Craig when he's talking. Yes. So I'll probably do those those chords of the bridge. Yep. And then they can come in whenever. Is that? That, sound, that sounds about right, Kath. Yep. Thank you. That'll be like an illustration, Kathleen, where he's got two stools and he's sitting in different chairs of the stools. So he'll, he'll want us to play underneath those, he said. Okay. So do we want to give that a crack? Here's a click. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of what I do musically and want to journey with me or send me an email, check out my website at www.jamalmactivatemusic.com. Until then, peace out. I hope you're blessed by this and I hope it helped. And have an amazing day. Peace out.